Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Jazz Fest, a New Orleans story. And this is co-directed by Frank Marshall, who free, uh, recently did the Bee Gees' How Can You Mend a Broken Heart, which is such a fantastic documentary from HBO, and did the documentary Peekaboo that came out recently as well, and co-directed this with Ryan Suffern, and this focuses on the iconic New Orleans Jazz Festival as it led up to its 50th anniversary. And this festival had been going on like clockwork every single year, capturing not only the music, but the food, the culture, and the history of the city of New Orleans. And I think what Marshall does so well in this film is able to capture the fact that New Orleans feels different. The, at one, some point, one of the commentators in the film said that New Orleans is the only city with a purely unique personality to it. I don't know about that, because, first off, like, I'm from two of the, two major, around two major cities. I'm from New Jersey. And, like, I'm right in the between Philadelphia and New York City. I could, I could tell you right now, Philadelphia has a very specific personality. Um, it might not be as, like, refined cultured as what people might expect from New Orleans. But, oh, it's personality. And it's a culture. And it's interesting. But I do appreciate the fact that Marshall was able to capture the actual spirit of this city. And through all the commentators on here from people that are like deep-seated, ingrained into New Orleans culture, Louisiana culture, um, Bayou and Cajun culture, but also from all the different artists that have come in and performed at this festival. And you get a lot of backstory, you get a lot of history, you get a lot of perspective. And in many ways, this plays out like, you know, a standard documentary. It has clips, it has interviews, but this film is able to capture a, a people and a culture so impeccably. I was blown away by this and really engrossed into the experience of the film and what this film was able to create in terms of atmosphere and personality. And the biggest thing is the musical aspects of it, because they do show all of these performances, and from right from the start, they hit off with uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, September, and just 100% sets the tone for the rest of the film. And it's a variety, too, because you get very traditional, like, jazz and blues performances. You got Pitbull playing Fireball, and I think... Where this film transcends just being another documentary is the level of emotion that it's able to capture once it starts talking about the aftermath of Katrina and trying to bring the, the life of New Orleans back into the forefront. And one particular performance from Bruce Springsteen that they show in this film captures so much emotion. And that's, like, the crown jewel of this documentary. You have, like, a late-in-life performance from Al Green, which was really awesome to see. And it even all the way up to the fact that, like, they had to cancel in 2020 and 2021 because of COVID, but came back with a vengeance this year, and they show, like, Jimmy Buffett leading the show. Because, of course, Jimmy Buffett, too. This has such great range in terms of the different kind of music they portray, the personalities that they portray. This film is able to capture New Orleans in a really meaningful way. And on top of all of that, the music's great, and there is some real poignant emotion here, and it does hit on some really heavy things. And this is a documentary that I'm going to be thinking about the rest of this year. Absolutely love this one. Go check this out. But those are my thoughts on Jazz Fest, a New Orleans story. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.